Okay, so I'm going to teach you today how to make an ear. And I'm going to be using Bernat Blanket Yarn, a size K hook, and another color of Bernat Blanket Yarn. So I make these ears to go on the heads of my bears. All right, so anyway, they're super cute ears. They're nice and sturdy. They're better than the ones that I have on my other, on my other guys. So I thought I would teach you how to do it too. Super easy. So you're gonna start with a magic circle. And this is how you make it. You wrap that around your fingers, put this part over, and then go between your fingers and bring this out like that, make a loop. And then you're just going to bring a loop through that. I like to straighten it out a little bit before I continue. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do five single crochets. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Sometimes it wants to get twisted around if I don't make it small enough. Okay, so I've got one in there, two, three, four, and five. And so what I'm looking for this piece, which I'm calling piece number one, to look like is a half circle. So here, let me fasten this off real quick. And where are my scissors? Okay, and then, so basically you've got a half circle here. Kind of wonky, but it is a half circle. All right, it'll look better later. So I'm gonna set that aside. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. So here's my magic circle again, going between my fingers, bringing up a loop, and then bringing a loop through there, making the uh, magic circle smaller for more control, see? And then I'm gonna do five single crochets inside of that magic loop, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So then I am going to fasten this off, tighten that, and I'm also going to tighten the center by pulling this and I did that before. So now I've got these two wonky looking half circles. And so basically, why do I need these? Because I need um, this one to be the inside, like the front, if this makes sense, right here. And then this part is going to be the back side. And basically we're just going to single crochet both sides together. So this is kind of where it gets a little bit tricky. So I'm going to put the front, which is piece one, on top of the back, which is piece two. And both of the fronts are going to be facing me. All right, and don't worry about all the all these um, yarn strands. I'll tell you what to do with them a little bit later. So basically what we're gonna do is slip stitch this together with the main color, which is what uh, piece number two is. And for my main color, I'm using this gray. So. And I really love this yarn because it's super forgiving 
it's a little tricky to work with at first but it's really it's really forgiving when it comes to like weaving in ends so if you really hate weaving in ends yeah <laughs> so anyways so I've got them slip stitched together and basically all I'm going to do now is I am going to add another single crochet in the same hole as my slip stitch so that I so that I have a uh, like an increase there and then I'm going to just do an increase in all of the rest of the holes so that I get 10 stitches or 10 single crochets okay so you see how it's coming out all right and you you know I've tried to work these in the back loops and it ends up looking kind of wonky so I've settled on uh, sorry if I'm out of the camera um, what I've settled on is going ahead and going through all the like both loops in each stitch okay so now I've got two in there and now I'm going to do another increase and I'm sorry if this is hard to see, but I'm just doing an increase in each one so as to kind of sew the two layers together. And it's going to make a nice, a nice thick fluffy ear. And then now I'm on my last uh, stitch. And, you know, these get kind of funny to work with on the last stitch but if you can just get into a hole in the last stitch and just do an increase in there you'll be good to go okay at this point before um, cutting this you're going to want to fasten this off and leave a long tail to sew it onto the head of the Okay, so here's what my ear looks like, and um, it'll look better on, and it's still a little bit flat, so I'll show you what to do next. What I like to do is just take the strands of yarn that are close together and just go ahead and tie these in a knot, and I do that with these middle ones also. And then there's this one left, and this is a lot of extra, I know. So what I do with this one is I just go ahead and and uh, weave it in. And you can do that with this hook, with your hook if that works for you, or you can do it with a with a needle with a large um, eye. And I like to use those too. So I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can uh, weave this in. And then I'm going to go through the back of piece B, I'm sorry, piece two, and I'm going to go ahead and pull this actually into that piece, and then I'm going to finally trim it. And what's cool about this yarn is that you really can't see it very much where, uh, where I cut, but if you can, all you really have to do is you could take the back end of a chopstick or you can take your um, crochet hook, but I don't see it here. So if you're enjoying this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Doing these things helps other people find my videos so they can get the help that they need. Thanks for watching. The next thing I like to do with this ear is I like to cut these, not too short because I don't want too much um, end to show, but just not this one because what this is going to serve as right here what these are going to serve as are the padding that goes inside or the stuffing that makes the ear look fluffy so i'm going to go ahead and stuff all this in i'm using the front of the chopstick which probably isn't the best side let me try the back side of it where it's a little thicker and it's not going to poke through um, the holes as easily. So all I want to do is just poke all this into 
the inside of the ear. I'm not trying to like, you know, secure it anywhere because it's going to secure when I use this strand to sew it onto the head. Okay. And so that's it. That's it. You got your ear. It looks a little wonky on the bottom. Don't worry about that because once you start doing your whip stitch, it's going to hide all of that. Okay. And then it's going to end up looking really cute like this or like this. This one, I think I didn't stuff enough, but anyway, cute, right? All right. Hope you enjoyed that.